Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk about tonight's basketball. Tim Toro joining us right now. Well, Tim, congratulations. You guys fresh off a District 2 slash District 4 uh, title. Uh, what was it like to play at the arena this weekend? Uh, well, it was definitely a mind-boggling kind of game, you know, kind of offering the uh, distance between the uh, hoops and the background was a little bit offsetting to us, but uh, I think we just once we got towards the beginning of the uh, second half there, we, it took us a long time to get uh, just to it in the beginning of the first half, but once we came out of the halftime uh, break, we, we knew we were going to feel a little bit more comfortable shooting uh, deep range threes and uh, pressing the ball up the floor. A little different atmosphere, as you mentioned. You get into a gymnasium, a tight, closed quarters, and there's different types of distractions there. You know, maybe people yelling a little bit louder, and it's kind of a different crowd. Now, at the arena, there were a lot of people, and people got into it, but just definitely a different atmosphere. You mentioned that depth perception was something. Yeah, uh, you know, the crowd definitely involved very loud. Uh, it, it, you know, like I said, it was definitely a mind-boggling kind of game, but I think we adjusted to it pretty well. You know, we had a focus. Uh, dig deep for the, the the strength that we had left in our in ourselves. You know, we really wanted that uh, that title. You know, for the fifth time in a row, uh, I think it really meant for something for us. So we we strive to succeed in what we wanted. Let's talk a little bit about what it's like to play for Coach Kenny Bianchi. Uh, he really gets the most out of you. He's uh, an interesting coach, that's for sure. Talk about what it's been like for you. You're right. Uh, he's, you know, he's a great guy on and off the court. You know, he's got a lot to offer to each and every one of his players. Uh, I, I've truly enjoyed playing with the guy for the guy uh, for my last four years. Um, he's taught me a lot. Uh, as a coach, I believed in him, um, and as a player, he believed in me. I, I think that's why we have such a great relationship. Uh, he, he really knows how to make you a better player and even a better play, a better person off the court. Tim, how about the adjustment for you over your career there at Abington Heights? Just a, the makeup of the teams have been so different, um, but you, you guys have just had so much success. Uh, talk what it was like when you first started with the program and playing with some of those guys, and to now where you're the leader here in your senior year. Well, well, coming out in my freshman year, you know, I had a huge role. You know, I was that sixth man off the bench, or even seventh. You know, even if they needed me, but I had a lot to. Uh, to uh, conquer when I was in there, you know, I, I was learning from J.C. Shaw and Seth Maxwell uh, and the other guys. I think I learned a lot from them. So now that I'm a senior, I think I, I have to incorporate what I've learned from them and almost like teach the younger kids as I'm, you know, going throughout the season. And my season's coming to an end, so hopefully I'm leaving some sort of uh, imprint on them. Let's talk about heading into the state playoffs. Um, you play a seven and eight seed, it doesn't matter. You know you're getting quality competition. Uh, talk about uh, what you're expecting, even in the first round. doesn't matter what round it is in the state playoffs in quad A. It's usually a jacked-up team. Yeah, it, it really doesn't matter. You know, any team we're going to play in the state playoffs, it's going to be a great team, athletic, very very athletic team. Uh, can, you know, push the strength out of us, you know, boxing out-wise, and uh, very quick. Uh, I don't know how we're going to adjust to it, but... I think now that it's a playoff first day, it's, you know, we're just you know, we're just gonna go and have fun. You know, that's all we can ask for. You know, if we if we win, we win. You know, if we lose, then you know we give it our all, and that's all we can ask for. Tim, talk about this team back in November when you guys started practice, and now here we are. Uh, we're going to be in March, and and talk about where this team has gone from November to March in one season. Uh, going to the beginning of the season, we have shown some sort of progression. You know, but even with the uh, the downfalls and our losses to Scranton and Scranton Prep, I think we've picked ourselves up. You know, saying, "Hey, we can we can dust this dirt off our shoulders." You know, we can we can do we can do better than this. You know, we can succeed ex- from where we have uh, fallen. You know, and I, I think that now that we have our mindset, we want to go for that that fourth that fourth playoff game. You know. Try to get to that fifth championship, almost state game. Yeah, that's where we want to be. You know, if we get our mindset as a team, we can accomplish it, and I think that'd be awesome for us to do. Tim, at the next level, uh, we don't know where you're going yet, but what is that next college or university getting uh, when Tim Toro hits the floor? 
I hope they're getting uh, strength and some sort of uh, confidence inside. You know, I, I hope they make an appearance on the boards. You know, I, if I can't score all the time, I hope to get the rebounds, as much rebounds as I can, as well as dish the ball a little, you know, show some assists, um, help the team out a little. You know, rotating the ball would help sincerely to everyone on the team, and I hope I can uh, make that statement on the court. You talk about your strength. You're, you're a different player. Uh, then Maxwell, and he's got a different body type than you. But both you guys are successful in your own right. He's got a little bit of height on you. But talk about uh, that that toughness you try to bring and and using your body well. Well, I, I you know I try to shift my body the way I need it to shift. You know, if I can move it to the left, I want it to get it to the left. You know, if I can't jump as high as, uh, as I need to, I, I know I can revolve on Seth, and uh, Seth can actually help me out. The good thing he is taller than me, you know. But uh, I think I really do also help Seth out a lot, and he as well helps me out a lot. You know, he makes me stronger, even when I have to box down even, like, you know, further than I have to. But his his height is definitely some sort of gift that he was given, and I'm very glad that he has that gift. Tim, uh, when you talk about Abington Heights basketball, everybody says, well, they got Maxville, they got Toro, uh, but you'd be the first guy to say there's other guys on this team that have really, really important roles. Talk about the other teammates that probably don't get as much credit as you guys. You know, Jordan Hollander, he's, he's a quiet, quiet guy, but on the court, he's, he's, his, mo- his motions speak louder than his words, and he does that on the free throw line. When he comes down to the game time situations where the clock's running down, we're almost down a couple points. We know we could rely on him to hit those big free throws for us. Um, as well as Colin Klingman, you know, if we have trouble getting the ball off the court, he he has the, the confidence to dribble past the defenders and get it up with ease, you know. And Jackson, you know, as a sophomore, he's doing excellent. Uh, we really have faith in him, you know, hitting our three pointers for us. Um, he really sparks us to get going and, you know, get that, that board up. Tim, we all have role models on and off the court, uh, whether it's the academic side or the athletic side. Tell us about the people that have helped you along the way that have uh, put you in a nice position going forward. Um, yeah, my parents have really, have really influenced me. And, uh, you know, my sisters and my brother, uh, they really influenced the way I've, I, I talk now to a student athlete and the way I've come to grow. Uh, as an athlete on the court and even off the court, uh, I'm really gratitude for them. And, you know, even the friends around me, uh, they really, like, you know, helped me along the road, lifted up my spirit, and, you know, got me to the point where I am. And then being a student athlete at Abington Heights, talk a little bit about the community, some of the friendships you've developed there at the school. You know, my, my, you know, my, uh, my teachers are really involved with the uh, the sports aspect of it. You know, they're always asking about, oh, when's the next game? You know, who are you playing? I heard you had a really good game. You know, it makes me feel a, a little bit warm inside, you know, knowing that I have someone that's actually following me and uh, knows how I am in class, you know, it can really, like, spark their interest in me. Um, as well as, like, you know, uh, my community members, you know, Older guys that come to the game, you know, I may not know their names, but I know that they, they're always following me, always like, hey, Tim, you know, good game, you know. I, I feel like I'm important, you know, and it's because of those guys that follow us that are very interested in how we are and how we play, you know. It, it makes us a better person. Tim, uh, as far as uh, the other coaches on staff, I mean, Coach McLean uh, does a tremendous job. He has been the, the wingman for Coach Bianchi the entire time. And they get a young coach uh, that kind of comes around uh, that knows some, a little bit about the game and, and Russ Danzig. Uh, do you lean on him to ask him questions about what you should look for at the college level? Oh, yeah. You know, Russ is a definite person I can look up to. He's, he's been there in the college level before. He knows what to expect. You know, if I have any questions, I always go to him. You know, he's also my guy to, to practice with. You know, he teaches me the new post moves that I've never even really seen before. You know, he gets me to technically learn them fluently and without, like, any pressure. He really gets me a little bit more uh, confident and a little bit flawless in my uh, technique. You know, and Coach McLean, uh, and, you know, goes way back with Coach Bianchi. You know, they're two great guys. Uh I hope that, you know, whatever they teach me follows back in the years 
after me, you know, because, like, whatever's left on me, hopefully the next guy will they'll become even better players than I was when I was playing. Tim, I asked you about what the next college or university is going to get when you hit the floor. How about what you're looking for in a college or university? Do you have an area of study that you're kind of, you know, narrowed it down to? And then as far as the fit with the coach or uh, the atmosphere on campus? You know, I, I just kind of narrowed my results down to a graphic designer. You know, if I can get in there and some sort of a uh, business degree and, and uh, marketing, I, I would like to go for graphic designing. If not, and if I could potentially, you know, progress into graphic designing, I'd like to jump over and, you know, actually become an architect. But uh, that probably won't be till, uh, quite a be quite a few uh, years from now, but hopefully it'll, it'll come sooner or later. Tim, it's been a nice career for you. Congratulations on all you've accomplished. I know you guys want to uh, win one in the state playoffs and, and see what happens, but uh, thank you so much for your time and the best of luck in your future endeavors. Uh, thank you, John. Thank you. Senior Tim Toro from the Abby Tonight's Comets. They are the District 2 Champs in Quad A here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.